the new maestro of Madrid, Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham's early career. Jude Bellingham, the promising English footballer, was born on June 29, 2003 in Sturbridge, West Midlands. His early life was marked by a deep passion for football, and he began honing his skills at a young age. Bellingham's journey into the world of professional football started with local youth teams, where his exceptional talent quickly became evident. At the age of just seven, Jude joined the youth academy of Birmingham City FC. His boyhood club, a significant step towards realizing his dream. It was within this club's nurturing environment that he began to flourish as a footballer. His dedication, determination, and raw talent were evident, even at such a tender age. Bellingham's breakthrough moment came during the 2019-2020 season when he made his senior debut for Birmingham City in a League Cup match against Portsmouth. At just 16 years old, he became the club's youngest ever first team player. His performance on the pitch turned heads and established him as one of the most exciting young prospects in English football. In the summer of 2020, Jude Bellingham made a high profile move to Borussia Dortmund, a top club in the Bundesliga. This transfer showcased the remarkable progress he had made in his early career. Bellingham's time at Dortmund has been marked by consistent growth and stellar performances, earning him recognition as a key player for both club and country. Jude Bellingham's early life and football career are a testament to his natural talent and unrelenting determination. From his humble beginnings in Starbridge to his impressive breakthrough at Birmingham City and his subsequent success at Borussia Dortmund Bellingham has been an inspirational and promising young talent. And now he is moving to one of the biggest clubs in the world, Real Madrid. Move to Madrid. Real Madrid has a squad with nearly a billion euros with casually collected five Champions League trophies in the last 10 seasons. It takes a lot to grab the spotlight at this club. Yet here comes Jude Bellingham, a mere 20-year-old sensation, managing to do just that in the blink of an eye today. We are looking at how Jude Bellingham's new role made him an instant success at Real Madrid. In the expensive transfer market of 2023, Real Madrid did something pretty smart this summer. They decided to skip the whole frenzy and didn't spend a ton of money on a new striker to replace Karim Benzema out of the players Real Madrid brought in during the summer. Only Bellingham came with a hefty price tag, but back then some people were scratching their heads about this choice because Madrid already had a loaded midfield with Chormaini, Camavinga, Valverde, Cruz, Modric, and even Dan Seos on the team. When it came to scoring goals, things looked a bit fuzzy as they only brought in a veteran SGA jostle, which made it unclear as to how they could perform well in different competitions. It seemed like Carlo Ancelotti's best strategy was to play it safe by relying on his talented midfield players to control the game and stop the other team from attacking. Meanwhile, they were counting on Vinicius, Jair, and Rodrigo to work their magic and find a way to score goals for them. But to everyone's surprise, after the first month of this season, Bellingham, who started out as a defensive midfielder, when he moved to Germany, has scored six goals and provided one assist that's second only to Erling Haaland in terms of goal scoring across Europe. But what did Ancelotti do to help Bellingham improve so much? And what can we, we learn about Bellingham's future from his current form? Well, if you think about it, it's pretty weird when a football club spends more than $100 million on a player and then decides to make them play in a totally different position than what they're known for. Bellingham's development in that way, we're not giving enough credit to how much his stats, playing style have dramatically shifted since he joined Madrid. Both he and Ancelotti have been brilliant in making this change work. Bellingham has been taking some pretty strong shots for a while. Now they went from 1 1.5 per 90 minutes to 2.2 per 90 minutes last season, which already put him in the top seven of midfielders. But in Spain, he's up his game even more, averaging 2.6 shots per 90 minutes. Those are like striker numbers. The interesting thing is the places he shoots from have also changed a lot throughout his career. Most of his shots came from around 18 to 19 yards away, which is similar to other midfielders who score goals like Odegaard and De Bruyne, but at Madrid, Bellingham is taking shots from 15 to 16 yards away, which is similar to Haller. Number typically you want your actual forwards to take shots from closer to the goal inside the box, but here's the kicker. Real Madrid didn't just sign Bellingham continue with their usual tactics this summer. They lost Karim Benzema, who was their main point scorer. This was a huge change for them because they hadn't been without a top striker like him since way back in 2009. Because of this, they had to change their playing style from the 433 formation. They've been using for almost a decade. Going back to Ancelotti's first stint as their coach, specifically losing Benzema and they had less of a presence inside the opponent's penalty box, even though he played fewer minutes last season compared to previous years. He still managed to score 19 goals and took 4.4 shots per 90 minutes, which was a big part of Madrid's attack when Benzema left. Everyone thought Vinny Rodrigo would have to score more goals for Real Madrid 
but they needed another attacker because the fullbacks they chose were more defensive. So someone from the midfield had to step up and it could have been Valverde or even Madrid, both of whom played further up the field last season than they played ever before. Ancelotti's decision to play Bellingham at the forefront of the team's diamond. Formation has been a resounding success. Bellingham is already halfway to matching the 12 goal contributions he had in his first 30 Bundesliga starts for Dortmund. Even if he doesn't keep scoring at this rate, his current tally of goals is more than double his expected. Goals of 2.3 and is likely to make this his most prolific season yet. He only needs four more goals in 33 games to match Zidane's best ever season with Real Madrid. This is far from normal even for the most prestigious club in world football Bellingham's role. Has undergone significant changes in the past. He made mainly operated in deeper areas with about 73 of his touches in the defensive and middle thirds, protecting the defense and linking up with the attackers. However, at Madrid, this isn't needed as much with players like Chuamani, Camavinga, Cruz, Modric, and Alaba. Madrid boasts an impressive lineup of exceptional progressive passers last season. Bellingham was known for playing 6.5 passes into the final third and eight progressive passes per game. However, his role has since shifted, making it challenging. To repeat those numbers now, he's creating 2.3 chances per game, which is twice as much as before he's also. Doubled his successful passes into the box in just a month, he's transformed from a highly rated box-to-box -box midfielder to one of the most effective number 10 in the world. A few factors play into this Real Madrid tends to have more possession of the ball than Dortmund, and La Liga has fewer tackles and turnovers compared to the Bundesliga. But the drop in Bellingham stats is so huge that it's clearly because of the way he's being used in the team. It's a sign of the fantastic player. He's becoming think about the top notch players in the Premier League who did that little work off the ball last season guys like Martinelli, Jared Bowen, De Bruyne and Son. They all play more like forwards. The midfielder Bellingham seems to be going through a similar shift like Gareth Bale did. Bale started as a left, back then became a winger and even played as a striker. Sometimes now it might not be Bellingham's long term plan, but he's so talented at different aspects of the game that he could become a key part of Real Madrid's attacking play at least until they get a new forward. The hunt for Kylian Mbappe continues. Bellingham has proven to be even more talented, versatile, and elegant than anyone could imagine. He's almost half Luka Modric's age, and it's pretty exciting to think about what he can achieve with his new team. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell icon so you never miss a video.